this very vivacious, outgoing, charismatic woman who has really lived a very full, wonderful, exciting life. But it wasn't that long ago that the quality of Sandy's life was dramatically diminished. In 2010, she was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. For 10 years, Sandy was able to manage her symptoms, thanks to her healthy lifestyle. But then, the disease caught up with her. I just, you know, tried my best until I realized that I can't do it anymore. I saw a pretty rapid decline over the course of two years. I was reluctant to walk by myself outdoors. I was always holding on to my husband for dear life. You start to feel that you don't want to go out anymore. Just day by day, it gets worse and worse. Certain drugs help many Parkinson's patients, but Sandy couldn't tolerate them. So her doctor suggested another option, a procedure known as deep brain stimulation, or DBS. There are three steps to the procedure. First, electrodes are surgically placed in the patient's brain. Later, the wires are connected to a stimulator that's implanted in the chest. Finally, at an office visit, the stimulator is turned on and programmed to send gentle electric impulses to the site. This electricity that goes into this particular part of the brain can disrupt the abnormal signaling that results in tremor, for example, or other conditions or symptoms of Parkinson's disease. As a rule, DBS is only used with patients who respond well to medication. But patients with severe tremor, like Sandy, can also benefit. Even though sometimes tremor doesn't respond to medication, it responds very well to stimulation. So as, as uh, Sandy was very, very tremor dominant, we knew we would be able to um, in, improve her quality of life with the surgery. The tremors were getting worse and worse, and I knew I had to do something about it. We felt so strongly that this was her only option. Despite its benefits, the prospect of DBS can be unsettling. Every night I would go to sleep thinking of a knife going into my head. It was very scary. Sandy was reluctant, but was ultimately persuaded by someone she hadn't even met. She had a grandchild on the way, and her tremors at that point were so disruptive, so disabling. I mean, she couldn't hold utensils, let alone the idea of holding her grandchild, and she wanted to do that more than anything in the world. That's what really made me do the surgery. I said I won't be able to hold him or her until I fix this. It was a difficult decision, made easier by the constant support Sandy received. I asked Dr. Claude to come to surgery with me that day, and she was there, she showed up. I was calmer just knowing that she was there with me. Dr. Asmi is just the kindest soul. He holds your hand during surgery. He's so comforting. He's just a wonderful, wonderful person. Working as a team, doctors Osmi and Klar have different responsibilities for each part of the DBS procedure. Dr. Osmi is a functional neurosurgeon who implants the hardware, and I am a neurologist who turns that hardware on and ultimately programs it to the appropriate settings for the individual. So two weeks after Dr. Osme positioned the electrodes in Sandy's brain, she visited Dr. Klar to have the stimulator activated. That first appointment um, was nail-biting because there was, there was a lot of anxiety. We said, you know, you have to let this take time because even after somebody gets surgery and even after their battery gets turned on and the stimulation starts, um, you don't have immediate improvement or immediate um, benefits necessarily. So I was completely floored when that night her daughter had texted me and sent me this video of what she looked like walking at home. Strut your stuff. Which was not how she looked like walking out of the office, so she looked better. So her daughter texted me this video. That's incredible. And I just started crying. I mean, I couldn't believe 
that only 12 hours later that she was running after her puppies and she no longer had her tremors. Strut your stuff. And I just went in this room. I started parading back and forth. And it was, wow, this really worked. And right away I sensed it to Dr. Clark and Dr. Asmi. I said, look, it's a new me. As soon as we turn the device on, the tremor goes away. And it's really a, a, a magical moment for us as well. You sort of go, you know, this is why I do what I do. <laughs> when someone that was unable to do simple things, brush their teeth or have a cup of coffee because of these tremors, all of a sudden, it's a different world for them. All of a sudden, they have control over their hand. And to be able to be part of a team that brought the, that patient that, that ability, I think is extremely gratifying. We're a year out more, um, and she's still not taking any medication, and She's still living her best life, so it's great. So many people live with Parkinson's and live well with Parkinson's. And it was a miracle. The surgery gave me my, my life back.